Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and in this video I'd like to show you the new rib command that was available in NX 9, 10, and 11. Um, before, when we used to make ribs, we'd have to draw out sketches and their thicknesses. We'd have to extrude, add drafts, and probably offsets, um, just so these molded parts can be pulled out of the mold. Uh, and making the ribs wasn't an easy chore. It required uh, several commands, usually like extrude, draft, and uh, offsets sometimes. Um, so in this video I'd like to show you how they've changed the rib command and how easy it is now to add ribs. Uh, so the first thing I would do is I would create a sketch um, and preferably I'm going to put it uh, above the uh, open side of the uh, cavity that I want to put the ribs in. And this isn't the orientation I was looking for. So I'm going to redo that sketch. Um, I do want to put it on this, uh, but I want to change my horizontal reference to something this direction. There we go. So now I'm going to start drawing ribs. Um, I just kind of arbitrarily placed these holes, but I want to be able to draw um, a rib going and connecting these and then to the outside. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a line out, like so. And to each point, I'll just uh, take that one away. Delete. Let's put it in a line. It just kind of goes to this point here, and then another one to here, and then one here. So this would be a really funky design um, if you had to do the screw holes this way. Maybe just attach to something, and they just happen to be like this, but. Um, Let's try there. Okay, so now we have the rib lines, and I'm just going to extend these out like so. So they look a little funky coming off of there. And then um, I'm going to draw some cross lines here to go across as the ribs, just to kind of hold it into place. And probably another one like that and another one maybe over here like that um, so that's a pretty interesting uh, shape for the ribs and now I'm gonna go ahead and finish that and I'm going to go to I'm on the home tab and select more and you'll find the rib command and the rib command usually will automatically select the body if there's only one body in the scene that's the one it will select otherwise you will have to manually choose your body uh, now it's asking for the section curves, uh, so I'm going to just start selecting these one by one so you can see what happens. As you can see, it automatically uh, trims the, uh, the rib out for me. It puts in a thickness. I didn't have to manually sketch that in. Um, and then if I come down to draft, I can also add a draft from the cap, like 2 degrees. And so now it can be pulled out of a mold um, if it was in one. And so I can just keep on going, and as you can see, it just it just kind of like a connect the dots kind of game. I can keep adding these ribs in, and it automatically it, it's smart enough to know uh, where these screw holes are. See, it doesn't go in between the screw hole; it leaves it open, so um, it knows that there is definitely a screw hole there. Um, so I'll just keep adding these ribs in, like so. Oops, I think I clicked the wrong thing. Click the edge there. I wasn't supposed to do that. Click that, that, and we'll add one more right here. And as you can see, uh, the smart profile is able to manually trim off onto the inside of the cavity. It knows to skip over these holes. And you can also go to the cap here. And I don't want these ribs to go all the way up to the top, so maybe just partially part way down because we may have some stuff that's going to sit inside here but I still want some of the strengths from the ribs. And I'll just hit OK. And now we have a nice set of ribs inside this uh, plastic container. Again, that was Landon Ritchie from Design Visionaries, and this was the uh, rib command in NX10. Uh, for more videos, tips, and tricks like this, please visit us at designvisionaries.com. Thank you.